Hi everyone, this is Jen Sheffer, Instructional Technology Specialist at Box Hill School. And today's tutorial is to show you the display and text size options in accessibility features. We're going to start by tapping on our settings gear and then we'll head over into accessibility. And the fourth option down is display and text size on the vision menu. So we're gonna open that up. And the first thing you'll notice is that we can turn on bold text. So right away, the text stands out. It's much more prominent. And this is beneficial not only for students who may have a specific vision impairment, but just for readers in general who want to enhance their text reading experience on the iPad. The next thing you can do is you can actually turn on the larger accessibility sizes. So you can adjust the size of the font on um, websites or just anything that you're reading on your iPad. It makes reading much more um, easy and you can adjust that to your preferences. You can also turn on the uh, increase contrast button. You'll notice that that increases the color contrast between the app foreground and background colors. You could differentiate without color, which would replace user interface items that rely solely on color to convey information with alternatives that might be useful for your student or yourself. You can select the smart inverse, invert, which reverses the colors of the display, except for images, media, and some apps that use dark color styles. I've noticed this is very popular with many students in Fox Hill School. Um, it's, a, it's a personal preference, really. Um, classic invert will reverse the colors of the display. You also have the ability to use color filters, which can be used to differentiate colors by users who are colorblind, and it aids users who have difficulty reading text on the display. So we can turn that on and you can choose from all these various color filters that are here once you turn that on. You can reduce the intensity of bright colors. If you turn on reduce white point, you'll notice that you can change that and customize that. Um, on that scale right there. And then you can turn off auto brightness, which also um, not only helps with vision, but it may affect your uh, iPad's battery life. So there is a quick overview of how to use display and text sizes to enhance readability. Uh, and it's also specific to students who may have vision impairments. I hope you have found this helpful and that you will share it with students and their families who may want to use this at home to support their learners. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.